Hello and welcome back to I guess what we should be calling Farquhar's Dairy Farm or Farquhar's Farm Life. Anyway, it's uh, it's been a week. Today is uh, auction day, sale day. We're going to be heading over there a little bit later on. I've uh, put some adverts out trying to get some staff in for the shop because that's not something I'm really all too adverse with. So if I could get someone with a little bit of shop experience and also an experienced butcher. Not that we've got any animals yet, but when we do, it'd be nice if we could have our own butcher. And maybe even a hand in the milking parlour. Now I'm sure some people around here must have helped or worked here before. So it would be pretty, pretty nice. But I wanted to just show you. Give me a little jog on. I had a little look around in some of the back sheds and I managed to find a cover for what it is it's an 886 I had a little tinker with it couldn't find the doors unfortunately still no doors but I had a little fiddle with it over the last few days and she starts so we do have ourselves our first tractor I filled her up She's got plenty of uh, diesel in her, which I think is pretty handy. So if I just find the doors, she'd be safe enough to use. Now, she's not a big tractor. Uh, I think at brand new, maybe 90, 95 horses under there. So we're probably only pulling around about 80 horses now. But she will do for, you know, a little bit of farm work. Loading around, lugging some stuff about, depending on what equipment we get. Now, we're going to want feed mixers, probably going to want some sort of bale shredder or blower or something like that. She's going to be perfect for that. Maybe even running a mower, depending on what we can find and what we can get. Haven't really done much with the uh, little Merlot we have over here. I mean, she's, she's looking pretty knackered herself. Maybe I should have took that in for the auction, see if we could sell it. But alas, I'm going to go back in, clean up, and we'll head out to the auction. Now, I did manage to uh, find someone to help harvest that barley field. And they said they were going to start around about half past 10, 11 o'clock today. So hopefully they'll be over there. And once we've finished over at this auction, we can go check them out. Now, I told them told them I was a bit short on cash and to sort of <laughs> sweeten the deal of not knowing anyone and trying to get in with people in hopes that we can maybe uh, get a better deal next time I told them they can keep the barley I don't need the barley, I just need the straw so hopefully they'll leave a nice swath for us and we can't, oh look at that plenty of machinery already arrived and we can just go in after and uh, hopefully we'll get to pick up a baler or something here if not we'll have to go down the local agri store and uh, get ourselves a baler and we'll start baling straw and at least then we've got something that's making us start on uh, getting our farm ready for animals get some bedding down that sort of thing we can use it as a little bit of TMR mix it's not always done that way some people do some people don't I sometimes like to just fill it out a little bit. If you're a bit short on uh, hay or silage, then uh, a little straw in there doesn't hurt. Can't see if they've arrived. Hopefully, they uh, <laughs> they will soon. So if we just swing in here. Now this is uh, being run as a blind auction. So you come in. We've all uh, been given uh, details on uh, what's what, and we can then put a price in, and hopefully you can get it. It's sort of a little bit of a fun thing as well, because I think it's uh, some charity work behind it. We better turn the engine off, we waste some fuel. Now there was a few items on the list that I was quite interested in. There is a Hurleyman MX130. I do like myself a Hurleyman. 
So that could be something that we go big on. And there was, it's very old, very small, a nice little David Brown. But now I've got that international up and running on the farm, I'm not sure if I need it. So let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got a nice, that looks pretty new. New Holland, 8340. We are allowed in them. Have a little look around. Now I am uh, quite a fan of the New Holland. Do you think this is a nice tractor? See if she starts. Ooh, she sounds good. Looks nice and clean inside. And to be fair, on the outside, it doesn't look too worn either. It's been well looked after that. That's a nice tractor. We've also got ourselves, what's this? It's very nice. 956 International. This is obviously a lot newer and a bit bigger than uh, what we've got. I wonder if the doors off this <laughs> will fit on mine. Again, very nice inside. I do like to just start them up. Well, I think that's quite nice. Quite nice. And the lights. Lights are a big thing for me. I've got a feeling that I'm going to be a little bit shorthand at the start. So, uh, probably going to be working late. Got a little hurly one here. What's this one? Uh, an H... H1000? H4000 I think this is? H1000. Now these are nice. But I really do, do want to see if I can uh, get the XM130. Let's have a little look inside here. These are all very well looked after, considering they are sort of up for sale and they've got a few years on them. Oh, that sounds good when it starts. I'm going to put a little asterisk next to this early on my list. The H1000 could be one for us. I think that's probably about 110, 120 horsepower on that, so... That would do a lot of work for us on our farm. That would be quite the winner. Ooh, someone must have heard I was coming. I do like me a Deutz. Anyone who's followed me in my farming career would know that I am a big fan of a Deutz. DX140. I've never owned a DX140. Again, quite old, quite classic. I do like the old classics boxed tractors. So, uh... Let's get and have a little look at this one. Again, very nice, very clean. Seat could do with raising a little bit. Should we sit a little bit low? Oh, starts like a dream. I've just noticed as well, this one. It's got a Sari Pro Compact scanners on. This will uh, update soil samples if we... Uh, get round to getting soil samples on our land. This one would do that for us. Someone spent a bit of money on this Deutz. I'm surprised they haven't taken that off. Put it on whatever new they've got. Although perhaps that means that's going to bump the price. Perhaps people are going to bid high for that because they know it's got the tech. Probably a good job I noticed. I could maybe invest in a bit of money on that. No, it's a 140, so that's got some horses under it as well. Also got this uh, fast track, JCB fast track. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Now these go like Billy O. Let's jump in and have a little. You do get this nice wide sort of panoramic view from the fast track. Again, very clean inside. Let's see what she sounds like. Oh, sounds nice. Starts good. How are we for lights? Yeah. I need a light on that. That's uh, that's quite nice. Now there is a little note on this one that there is some issues with the electrics that may need looking into. But that looks pretty good. Although we do have a little fixer upper already on the farm, so maybe we don't want two of them. Oh, got a lovely little Massey 188. 
just like Grandad had. Look at this, an absolute beauty. You know we got to get on. We probably won't buy something like this, just because it rains a lot around here. Oh, listen to that. That's a beauty. Now we're not allowed to drive up a bell, but we can get on and have a look. That is a very nice little tractor. Very nice. Now here is what I'm looking at. This is the Hurley that I'm going to be trying to get. X130. It's, it could do with a little bit of paint job. It looks like it needs some TLC. Hopefully it runs all right. Game, we've got some uh, Sari sensors on here as well. So I'll have to remember to uh, put in a good enough bid on this. Again, very nice, very clean. The outside, like I say, could do with a little uh, bit of pain. Oh, and she's quiet. I like something that's quiet while I work. Means you can get your music on. You're stuck into the graft. I like that. I'm hoping this baby's going to turn up in a day or two once all the bids are in and we'll get that on the farm. Next up we've got another little Massey here. What's that? 253, a front loader as well. Now we do have the Mana 2, but something with a front loader would be nice. But something with a cab would definitely be nicer. Yeah, let's just jump on and have a little, a little poke about. Oh, oh, oh. Shall we? Oh, smooth, buttery smooth. No issues at all there. And for its age, I'll tell you what, that looks good. Looks nice. You've got uh, what's that weight box on the back? That's a good bit of kit, that. I like it. And here's another one that we're looking at. Now, do we need a David Brown? It's a 996. It's pretty sweet. That is something. Oh, I'd like to get on the farm. Again, just for doing jobs with. But I've got a feeling this is going to be pricey. I think this is going to cost more than it looks. And it looks like it should, that's for certain. Lovely little tractor. Oh, did you hear that little little tickle in the throat? That was nice. Yes, very nice indeed. Oh, this is, you don't see many of these around. Not anymore. This is a 1970s Alice Charmer. It's even got a front loader attached on it. It's uh, an Alice 7000. Do not see many of these about here. Again, pristine on the inside. Needs a little bit of paint on the out. But we don't mind that. Oh, starts really well. Starts really well. Again, I could enjoy that. That's got a few horses as well. I should imagine that's a good 120, 130 horses. Maybe lost a few over the years, but that sounds well kept. And that's the tractor selection up here today. Whether anything turns up in the next few days, I'm not sure. I just want to come up here early. But they're looking good. I say I'd like the Hurley. Gonna put big, big bid in on that. It's got the Sari kit to it, and that's that's a that's a fair few grand. That once you've got all that set up, all the IT that goes with it, that's a few grand's worth of tech. Admittedly, I'll have to download the software, but we've got the office, and uh, you never know. We might try for something else. I think we're going to need a couple of tractors. I'm going to need a little bit of help on the farm, so a few tractors will do that. Now, I'm not really in the market for a harvester. I'm quite happy for now to contract out and get someone else to do that for me. Like I said, I just want the straw for now. Whether we get into any sort of arable later on, we'll see how the cows go. But that's nice. A Volvo BM. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. That's uh, 
That's a nice little thing. It's getting it from the front, I believe. Which is weird. Weird for my <laughs> fat ass to get in here. You open it up, the whole console comes out front and slides back in again. It's a very strange one. No. We've uh, we've got our wheel loader, or our telehandler, sorry, so whether we need something else, I doubt. But this is uh, certainly something something to bear in mind. Yeah, but if we can't get something else and we, uh, we slip a sneaky bit on something that we don't necessarily need, but could have some fun with, it won't hurt. A few extra bodies for compacting or for feeding and stuff like that. That's that's pretty good in my books. Got my Corley trailer. Uh, this looks like a bit of a, a generic. Can't see no brand on it. A nice tandem trailer. It's well balanced. It's got the uh, bale gates at each end, which is handy for myself. Not a master of my bale stacking. They're pretty good. I should imagine they're about the same price. And I believe... The Lamborghini is the landowner's tractor. So we must be about somewhere. Probably gone in for a coffee or something. That is a bit big. We don't need nothing that big. I think only an idiot would buy a tractor of that size for a small British farm. You've got to be a fool. Got to be a fool. Right. So we've also got a selection of... Yeah, a few trailers here. A selection of trailers... Set up for silage by the looks like they are selling to the market. They know who's coming. It's all set up for silage, but I guess they take grain as well. We've got a little Brantner here. Again, a little bit worn. The cane is one that I've marked up on my list. This is a lovely little trailer. Capacity might not be as much as the others. Certainly all roughly the same. But that's a nice one. It's in uh, good condition. If this is a Mitra. A bit smaller. A little bit more worn. And we've got the Red Rock. Red Rock's very nice. This is a nice capacity on this one. Very nice. And then, what have we got here? Shooter Maker? Now, I believe this is just for silage. This wouldn't take crops, but... Like I say, we're not worried about the crops. And uh, the Shooter Maker, that looks like that's got good capacity when it comes to uh, chaffing our grass. And we've got a lovely little West Trailer here as well. Again, a little bit smaller than the rest, but something that might be worth having a punt on. They are a popular brand, so when they come around cheap, I guess they don't go as cheap as you think they will. Got a, I don't know, pronounce that one, a Briri? Manure Director. Muck Spreader, definitely something we're going to need. It'll turn into a really expensive leasing cost if we keep leasing equipment. Some stuff we're going to lease, we don't need a lot. But I think something like a slurry and a manure spread are definitely things we're going to need. Because those cows are going to fertilise our grass for us. And uh, again, we've got another mitra. We could go for a pair of mitras. Look, we could get a yellow mitra down here. And the red spreader. And that's a Vulcan, that is. Yeah, a Vulcan 200. That's had some wear. But that's a nice looking thing. Good capacity on that one. I think that would hold a little bit more than the uh, manure director. Some things to think about. And just the one slurry tank by the looks of it. Unless there's something around the corner. High tech 2300. Not the biggest tank, but maneuverability on our farm. A possibility. It's a shame there's not one that's maybe a little bit bigger. There is an agri store in town. We can always go and uh, look into that if not. But I think that's going to be worth a punt. Through grand in on that one. So we've got a selection of balers. The Fusion 3. Is that a bale wrapper? I believe it is. Ooh, easy silage. We've got the clamps. But a nice wrapped bale is sometimes a bit easier. If we get them clamps filled, we've got extra left over. That would be a handy bit of machinery. New Holland roll belt popular all over Europe. Very nice that. What's that? Wind rower? Chrome wind rower? Yep. Sword row? Very nice. Used them before. 
Good bit of kit. <laughs> bail pusher. Just random bail pusher. Actually, we probably want that. I often smack into bales. That'd be a good one to have. Uh, class quadrant 1200 square baler. Now that would make life easier for me when it comes to moving and stacking. Then a Massey Ferguson. Is that Heston Baylor? That's an old bit of kit. 190. This is really nice though. Again, I do like the old boxy style equipment and tractors. A couple of cedars. I'm not again. I've got the bit of land. Do we do we buy a cedar just for seed them once a year? Or do I hire a cedar? Do I get someone in to seed it for me? Maybe maybe have this one looks newer. Maybe have a little punt on this on this one, on this small one. The accord. It would do. If we have to uh, you know resell some grass or something, that could help as well. Probably be handy to have something like that tucked up as long as it's cheap. Don't want to be uh, putting too much money in there. And so there's another wind rower here. Vernland. Again, much, much the same. I don't know, I think the sword rows may be a bit bigger. Probably easier to handle on our farm. Getting through the lanes and stuff. And we've got, oh, we've got a tiny little sword row. 395. Now this I know how to handle. The, one, I've had one of these. I've had one of these many times before on different farms. So it's a nice little one. It does take time though. It does take time. It's not a speedy bit of kit. What else have we got out here? Surprised no one else has turned up. That's a little cultivator. Kabuta. This looks pretty new. We had a fresh lick of paint for a sale. Cultivator does what it says on the tin. A till spreader. Actually, that would be pretty handy. Perhaps if we got one of them little masses, we could strap this on the back. And uh, that could be their job. Fertilising will be something we do. We're going to go, hopefully, down the uh, natural manures, but could end up needing something like that. Uh, this is the Vicom. Again, this is something I've used many a times before. Lovely bit of kit, good capacity for its age, nice wide work and width. I've used one of them many times. Could be a possible possible bid on that one. Oh, lots of stuff. Bush Tirano. Is that another cultivator? That could even be disc. Is that disc? Be the disc arrow. Again, looks very new. Some of this stuff has definitely had a fresh lick. Plow. I'm not sure if I need a plow. I'm not sure if I do. If we're doing grass, how often am I going to plow? Something to think about. It's nice to have the equipment, but how often are you going to use it? A nice little cockling trio. Three metre working width. We'd be able to pull that with anything, I think. Something like that is not going to take a lot of horsepower to move. Could be on the soften. Oh, another bit of Chalmers equipment. Don't, I see, don't see much. We've got two bits over here. Now, this looks old. This is probably off the same farm. I wonder if this is stuff they had here. Just, just a simple cultivator. Looks almost homemade, doesn't it? Very simple. Gets the job done. Got a rab? Is that a rab? That is. A rab work. So like two and a half, three meters. And then we've got ourselves another little plow here. Again, don't think we're going to need a plow. I could be wrong. But that's something we can uh, purchase along the way. Now something we do need are mowers. Now, our little, <laughs> our little international has not got a lot of power in it. And I believe... There's nothing there with massive horsepower. There's nothing there that we're going to say, ooh, that's a, that's a big one. Uh, probably maximum out of all them. 140 horsepower. So I don't think you're going to get a combination. I think this over here, this is just to tease us. This is 
we could afford it, probably. Get put a big old bid in on that. That is a nice setup. But you want a you want a good you want a big tractor to pull that. You want to be juicing that at full speed. Fella. Nice little side mower. And we've got a Cavernland at the back, a toad side mower. Take a little bit more skill to uh, to pull one of these. Get it to swing nicely. But depending on the price, could be something we're looking at. We've got a nice little crone mower here. Again, this is something that's probably more in my price range and more in machinery available's pulling range. A little crone. What is this? Arcus and Bale Handling Solutions. The four stack. Ah! This is for stacking your bales as you go. So you come along, pick them up, stack them up, do your thing. Lovely job. Might make it easier for me, actually. Something like that. But I bet this isn't cheap. Someone's going to pay a lot of money for this. Then we have the Shootmaker Vertigo Mixer Wagon. Now that is definitely something we need to be in the market for. Not very big, but... I mean, we haven't got any animals to start with. So, starting out, something small will be what we want. What's this? Just a grain bin or something? Yep, just looks like a... Almost like a gravity bin. That can't be worth much. Perhaps we should definitely put a punt in. <laughs> that might be handy for filling out in the fields if we're doing a bit of tilling or something. Fill that up with some uh, extra. Get it out there. With the bale pusher, we'd definitely put money in on the bale pusher. But that is it. So I've had a good look. I've marked up some things on my list. You have to put the bids in online. Like I say, it's blind bidding. And uh, we find out in a day or two what we've got. So hopefully next week I have some equipment on my farm. Let's hope that that Hurley is mine. Do you want the Hurley? David Brown could be. Oh, that would be nice. Be a treat, wouldn't it? Be a treat. Might put a backup in bid on the Deutz as well. Go green. So anyway, let's go see if my uh, my harvest contractors have turned up and how well they're doing. I did give the chap a quick call before jumping in the car to see if he was out and if he was going. He said, uh, if I come down I'll probably pass him. And there he is. But he's got a class dominator. Lovely little harvester. Not everyone's not everyone's liking his class dominator. But personally, I quite like a dominator. Now he did say if we want, we could give him a little hand. He's out here on his own. He's he's, he's unloading, he's harvesting and unloading, so I thought, you know what? We haven't got much else to do. So while he's harvesting, why don't we give him a hand and do the kind? So uh, that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. I'm going to help him. Hopefully the straw will be alright for a little while. Not too much of it right away. And in the next day or two, we'll hear back about our bids. So I'm going to bid for the baler. Obviously we need to get this uh, straw up. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll get ourselves a tractor or two. So uh, yeah, I'm going to help him with this. And uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing the Agri-Fair. And uh, hopefully you'll join me again in a few days. And hopefully we've got some of our own equipment. He's got a lovely little Massey. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.